Okay, so this was the lesson you did this morning if you were not able to get on to Zoom. So we are moving to level two of angles on parallel lines. And we're gonna not only have to know the relationships between the pair of angles, but also to set up an equation and solve it. Today, we are working on just setting up the equations. So this demonstration is not in your packet, so you just kind of have to watch the video and follow along. And then there's a Jamboard for you to try it on your own. So the first step is to mark the angles. You wanna make sure you understand the two angles that you're dealing with. So in this picture, the first angle is this one right here with the box. That's angle one. And so all it gives you is a box. So you have to start memorizing that the box means the number 90. In high school, they very rarely put that number anymore. You write it in whenever you see a box. So then we've got this 21x plus 6. That is angle 2. And that angle is this corner right here. So those are the two angles. So that's step 1. We mark them. Step 2 is to figure out the angle relationship. So hopefully you remember from last week, the two choices. Those two angles are either equal to each other or they add up to 180 degrees. So what I like to do is first figure out what side each angle is on. Okay, so angle one is on the right hand side. Angle two is on the left hand side. So when they're on alternate sides, almost always that means that they're equal to each other. Please use your notes page if you are still having trouble memorizing all this stuff to kind of look it up every single time. So then, now that we know that these two angles, angle one and angle two are equal to each other. So the two angles, the first angle is measure is 21x plus six. In the second angle, we have a number. We know that it's 90 degrees. So when we're setting up the equation, that angle relationship is very, very important. We know that they're equal to each other. So this equal sign just goes in between them. And now this is my equation. And I have written an equation based on this picture. Okay, example one, example two. Okay, I'll already drew the angles for you. Okay, so we wanna start with marking the angles. So this right here is angle one. Let me change colors. And this right here, this is angle one. And this is angle two. Okay, so again, we've got the left side, we've got the right side, both of these angles are on the left. They're both inside. So these are same side angles. So again, your choices are, that doesn't make sense. Choices are, are they equal? Or do they add up to 180? Well, because they're on the same side, and they're both inside. Those are same side interior angles. Same side angles are always 100, add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so I already typed this one out. This is angle number one. This is angle number two. So if they add up to 180 degrees, that means, oh, I didn't put enough room in between. Okay. What you can do is that the plus goes here, the 180 goes here, and you just need to add in the equal sign. And that is an equation when it adds up to 180 degrees. Okay, so those are the two examples. Moving on to your assignment. The Jamboard looks like this. Okay, so the question is, what is the correct equation? You can use your pen tool to mark up your angles if you need to. Okay, and then what you need to do is somewhere over here have an equation written. 
So I, for the first couple of slides, I typed out the angle measures for you. So this is angle two, this is angle one. What is the relationship? Okay, these two angles are on the same side, but one is exterior and one is interior. So they can't be same side interior or same side exterior. These are the ones, these are corresponding. And if that, if you hope, memorize it or hopefully you looked it up, corresponding angles are equal to each other. So that means you can either write or type an equal sign in between and you have written the equation. Every single slide has to have an equation written on it to be considered, to even be graded. Okay? So going through, some of these slides will be equal to each other. Some of them will add up to 180. That's for you guys to figure out. You can go back through my examples on the video. And then once you get to slide six, um, I don't type the angle measures for you. You're going to have to do them. I did mark the angles for you, so then you kind of figure it out. So looking at this two, looking at these two angles, one is on the left, one is on the right. They're both inside. These two angles are equal to each other. So this time you're going to have to do the whole equation yourself. Okay, so 2x plus 5 is angle 1. I said they're equal to each other, so I can put the equal sign right there. And x plus 59 is the second angle. And now I have written the correct equation. And those are the directions. So in class, um, we did not get all the slides done. So if you're working on this on your own, I would aim to try and get between three and four done. We will finish this up tomorrow. If you have any questions, you can email me. Those of you who have my number can text me and I will try and help you out. But the goal for today is to have at least three or four of the Jamboard slides done and we will finish it up tomorrow on Tuesday. All right, guys. Happy math. Hope you're doing okay.